Saturday, November 26th, and Victoria's other Grand Prix is flagged away. But the start of this race is just another step in a much longer journey. I don't think we can go too far wrong, ladies and gentlemen, if we all follow the example that is set by the young people involved in energy breakthrough. The launch on the, the steps of Parliament House three months earlier was the first public really focus on this, the fourth annual RACV energy breakthrough. It was an opportunity to draw attention to November's 24-hour marathon at Maryborough. But the story, the competition, the essence of this special event began months earlier, when thousands of students took the challenge. The challenge to combine science, design, physical fitness to create an awareness of the environment. To work as a team to construct a vehicle which represents an energy breakthrough. It's an educational design. The students are left to come up with their own uh, uh, vehicle design, to be able to run that for the 24 hours and to operate as a team working as a team, sleeping, eating throughout that period of time. Students at Brunswick Secondary College, like those at more than 70 other schools, took a team approach. Students from each team have been asked to do a specific task. We've had students working on menus. We've had students who have been working on sponsorship. And these students too eyed the three-day event in the heart of gold mining country to gain reward for their effort. We're really excited, especially from last year. You know, we had... Um, an example of what it was going to be like this year. Hopefully it will be better. The culmination of 12 months involvement for students, teachers, parents and sponsors. Several thousand came together to share their knowledge and understanding of technology. And they came together to show the results of their endeavours. Human powered vehicles, hybrids with solar and mechanical support for pedal power, there was even a role for billy carts. They start the year by sitting down as a team, working on their design, their concept, and just those aspects of it are as good as actually competing here. It goes throughout the year, and as I say, this is the, the culmination of that year's work. Yeah. Bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle. Activity didn't wane with nightfall. Anticipation and the energy level were high. Teams worked late into the night, putting finishing touches to entries such as Cobra, Red Devil, Fusion. They came to grips with steering around a tight circuit and with manoeuvring around one other and less predictable obstacle. For many, it was a very late night. The breakthrough is an educational project, and it gets them young. The billy cart relays around picturesque Lake Victoria, and the cart sprints, called with enthusiasm over the public address system, provide a taste of things to come. There are innovations in technology events. This year, won by an all-girl team from Lake Tuggeranong. Yeah, so it actually knows exactly where it is at each point in time and because of that we can actually make it go through the maze forwards and backwards. While the Maryborough streets are a showcase for streamlined human powered vehicles and the hybrids which compete alongside them, students must score points by presenting details of the design and construction of their vehicle to be an overall winner. RACV staff act as scrutineers and check all vehicles and the riders equipment before they're allowed to participate in the event. And now at last, an opportunity to really show what can be achieved. Ahead, 24 hours of inspiration, persistence, triumph. Oh, 
the end on came off the brake cable and just had the put new end on it. So try that. How hard is it out there? Oh, it's pretty hard. Yeah. Did you expect it to be that tiring? No, it didn't actually. <laughs> Okay, go. Oh, it's really hard. It's hard up the hills and it's long. <laughs> it's about 40. Yeah. Whoa. Just a little wear after having a wheel out of a line. Get her off, get her off. Let's go, 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 go. How's it feel to be part of the okay. leading team? Ah, oh, it's unreal. About time last year we came out and we were out of it for three hours this year, winning it all the way. Somehow, despite the exhaustion and various mechanical problems, they came through a long night to greet the dawn. last two hours of the events we're getting the, the end result of, of fatigue and of mechanical wear we're seeing a lot more we're seeing a lot more breakdowns and uh, a little bit more erratic driving and uh, as con controlling the safety of it we have to be more vigilant obviously and finally having inspired everyone who came to watch their efforts they greeted the checkered flag and worthy applause <laughs> Thank you.